two different opinions. Sometimes we're together, sometimes we're apart. So without further ado, here's my Big 12 rankings. At number one, I've got Texas Tech. I'm really high on Texas Tech wow. this year. I like the quarterback. I, I like how how much how much senior talent they have on both sides of the ball. 18 out of 22 are seniors, and those other four are juniors. So don't count them out as well. And then for me, too, I think Texas is a bounce back year. What I've been hearing from Quinn Ewers, um, he's locked in. Steve Sarkeesian, and I think maybe having Arch Manning there, kind of like how we had Hudson Card pushing him. Maybe he could push him um, at fall camp. Um, I think A.D. Mitchell is a big addition. A.D. Mitchell on the outside. You got Xavier Worthy. The biggest key for me is going to be their defense, which I think they got the most talented defense um, in the conference, and it's going to come down to the running game. See if they're going to run the ball more without Bijan and Roshan, or they're going to throw the ball more because they got guys like A.D. Mitchell and Xavier Worthy. So I got Texas Tech in Texas. Um, I'll, I'll get my championship prediction at, at the end. Three and four. Three, Kansas State. Uh, I think Will Howard's going to bounce back, and, and good coaching with Kleiman. Um, they also had a lot of guys return. Blah, blah, blah. We mentioned it. For Oklahoma, I think Oklahoma's super overrated. Yes, they're going to win some games. Yes, they've got talent, but it's all going to come down to Dylan Gabriel's going to stay healthy. If he can stay healthy, um, this team's got a shot, but I got him at four because Dylan Gabriel, I think, is overrated, but compared to the other quarterbacks, he's decent. So uh, TCU at five, <laughs> tough loss with Garrett Riley leaving to Clemson. Um, some of the key guys like Duggan, uh, they got Quentin Johnson, both running backs, including Kendra Miller are gone. So that team's going to have to rebound. But I think they're set for the future. They got a lot of young guys. So I got TCU at five. Um, Baylor at six, seven, Kansas. I got eight, BYU. Those are the teams I think will probably be eligible, like you mentioned. And then the bottom tier, it's, it's going to be tough for these teams. You got Oklahoma State at nine, uh, Iowa State 10. I got UCF at 11. I, I don't think UCF, I think they, I think they get kind of smacked in the mouth. Um, they said they were going to be a power five team. They said that they were national champions. I didn't think it smacked in the mouth. I think possibly, you know, I mean, they don't, they don't want a quarterback depth. They got Plumlee and that's it. If he gets hurt, I mean, that's, that's a tough, that's a tough year for UCF. I'm not as high on UCF as you are, but I mean, after hearing this, maybe I'm a little higher, but I got to keep my rankings as they are. Um, 11 and then at 12, I got Houston, 13, Cincinnati, and then 14, West Virginia. I think this is going to be a rude awakening for these guys, but I think next year you'll see these new teams kind of um, excel with Texas and Oklahoma leaving. So that leads me to my championship. I got Texas Tech, Texas. And then I got Texas losing and Texas Tech winning. I got Tyler Shuck and the boys rising up. And the winner of the Big 12, if they don't make the CFP, actually goes to the Fiesta Bowl. So I would be seeing them at the Fiesta Bowl. So I got we Texas will Tech be seeing them at the Fiesta Bowl. We will Bowl. be seeing them at the Fiesta Bowl. Yes, so I got Texas Tech versus Texas, and uh, yeah, those are my four teams. So that's awesome, man. You know, uh, UCF from second to eleventh. Nice. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. We'll see. Maybe they'll meet in the middle. Who knows? But hey. okay, 